Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna walk you guys through a few steps that you can take to clear large files from your Windows PC. If you want to either do a large cleanup and make some space on your drives, or if you're just not sure how to navigate to find these files, this video is for you. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft's Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in. All right guys, so I currently have Windows 11 Pro installed. However, this tutorial will be pretty much the same no matter what version of Windows you're on. My goal today is gonna to be to remove some large files from one of three of my internal SSDs. We're gonna start by looking at our storage settings inside of Windows as we have some valuable tools inside there. I'll hit Windows key and I together. And here we can see our settings menu coming up. We'll navigate to system and then we'll simply click down to storage. This is gonna help give us a breakdown of how the storage is currently being consumed on our local disk or C drive. We're gonna find some tools in here such as storage sense and cleanup recommendations. I currently have my storage sense configured to automatically remove temporary files, including download files. And so this is going to depend on your workflow for how you manage your files in your computer. What I like to do is I copy my files that I need in my downloads folder to their relevant folder that's not in the downloads folder. And the downloads folder itself gets basically deleted once a week. And so, that's the way that I sort of automatically keep track of that. And again, we can configure that inside of here. I have mine running every week. I also have it emptying the recycle bin. So we have some parameters we can set here. Okay, we're also gonna get a breakdown based on where the storage is being consumed. So we can see we have desktop, we have installed apps. We also have temporary files, videos, and other. I could click into any one of these categories to get a better understanding of what's being consumed here. Now, as we can see, there's nothing in here that would justify the massive amount of space that my installed apps is consuming. And so I'm actually just going to assume that this probably has something to do with some of the video games that I have installed on this computer. So the last time I had this issue, it turned out to be Steam. And let me quickly show you guys what I did to resolve that. So inside of this PC, I installed an additional drive. I called it personal and I moved my Steam library to the personal drive. And then separately from that, I have my local disk for my main files and then I have my editing disk for my video projects. So this is the way I sort of organize it now, but it is strange that we're seeing that amount of space being taken up on the local disk. Now we're gonna, we're gonna come back to that in a second because I do have a method for identifying that, but in the meantime, let's go back to just finding large files in general. I'm gonna open up my Windows Explorer here and let's say that I want to clean up my desktop, for example. According to my system settings, desktop is taking up over 400 gigabytes, which is not absurd in my case because I have large video files here, but maybe I want to sort through some of these and maybe see what I can remove. I'm gonna click into search in the top right and I'm gonna type the word size, then a colon, and then a greater than symbol. Then I'm gonna type one gigabyte. This is basically going to filter the files on my desktop for anything that is larger than one gigabyte. As we can see, I'm seeing a lot of, and this is yielding some video footage results here. So I could actually go through these, for example, and just kind of see what I might be able to remove. I can tell you right off the bat, these zip files for DaVinci Resolve installation, I definitely don't need those. So I can right click and press delete since I already have the application installed. So that's gonna help clear some space. Anything that you're not sure of, I would recommend obviously double and triple checking what it is before you remove it. And I could basically repeat the steps throughout this. I know some of these videos I don't need so I could delete these. And I can go into any folder and repeat the same process with the size filtering. We could change the parameter here to 10 megabytes, 10 gigabytes, or whatever size we'd be looking to remove. Okay guys, next up, we're gonna check out this application here called WizTree. This is a reputable third-party application that's going to help us view the size of folders more easily, as again, it can be a little bit tricky or a little bit buggy even inside of Windows. So let's go ahead and download this and we'll set it up. We're gonna go with the free for personal use and download. You can donate if you'd like, I'm simply going to download the installer. On the setup exe, I'll click open file. Select yes on the pop-up and I'll press English and I'll accept the agreement and press next. We'll leave that as default, same here. And I'll hit next again and then finally install. Here I'll click finish. We'll go ahead and launch it. So basically I can select my disk as we established earlier. I do have a few different disks. For now I'm focused on the local disk. So let's scan that and see what we get. 
So as we can see, we get a size breakdown based on the kind of parent folder here. So the large majority, I do have some stuff in program files, but the large majority of this 800 gigabytes here is inside of users. And I'll just keep dropping down the folders underneath. So here we can see my desktop. This is about what I'm expecting at that 450 gigabytes mark. I'm gonna try clicking under app data and roaming. And here we have a clear understanding now of why this is taking up so much space here. It's because of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I could then go to copy this over to that other drive, which I'll do separately from this video just to spare you guys the time. We also have a few other apps here that are taking up some space, but we found our main culprit. Another thing I just found inside of here is ClipChamp. So that's going to be taking up some decent space as well at about 36 gigabytes. And that's probably due to a lot of the screen recordings that I do in there. So I could go in there and manually start to delete some of those files as well. Now, just out of curiosity, why don't we try another one of the disks? Let's go with the editing disk. And now we have a breakdown here. I'm mostly interested in this July, 2024. And then here we get a clear understanding of which folders are taking up the largest amount of space. This might look like a crazy amount of storage to you guys, but we're dealing with large camera video files. And so that is the reason for the large amount of space being taken up. And the process for me to actually clean this up is once the project is done and edited, I basically copy it to an archive or a hard disk drive. And I have a large um, eight terabyte archive that I would just move this over to. And then that way I could have the drives free up on my local computer. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about how to find, recover, or delete these files, drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new and helpful video ideas to bring to you guys. If you have any ideas of your own, we would strongly encourage you to comment those below. Most of our requested videos get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.